Hey everybody and welcome back to 3COG. <clears throat> uh, today I wanted to address a question that I've been getting a lot of recently, which is, does a spray paint camouflage paint job last on your guns? So uh, I made a video about how to do a camouflage pattern using dish soap and uh, spray paint. It was a very, very popular video. And one of the questions I get over and over again in the comments is, uh, does it last? So first and foremost for YouTube, I'm on private property, I'm following all the safety rules, uh, I own all the stuff, leave me alone please. Uh, so to get into it, right, this is, this is the AR that I painted, and as you can see, it still looks pretty good. <clears throat> um, this is the one I did doing the uh, dish soap method, and uh, there's a whole video on that, I'll link it somewhere, and you can check out that video. <clears throat> but... Uh, this is what it looks like now. So one of the areas on this that I'm definitely losing some paint is on the pistol grip. And that's because this is the Daniel Defense uh, Integral Trigger Guard pistol grip, which has a rubberized texture on it. And that area is just going to lose paint. There's not really much you can do about that other than uh, clear coat. So had I sprayed clear coat, uh, like a matte clear coat over this, it would stand up better and last longer. I don't really know how long, uh, but honestly when I did the, the method of using the dish soap, I had no idea if it was going to be any good or how it was going to come out. So I wasn't uh, prepared to uh, clear coat over top of it. Uh, generally speaking, I just respray my guns every now and then when they start getting uh, worn out. This one just came out really, really well and I wish I had matte clear coated it and uh, honestly, I still could because uh, it's not bad looking at all. So this one, uh, just wearing right here. And this one's had about 800 rounds put through it since I painted it. Uh, three or four different range of days. Uh, it did rub off on the bottom. Uh, my son was shooting it and was resting it on a fence. And he was making the mistake of resting the barrel as opposed to the handguard on it. Happens, whatever, learning point. Uh, don't ever rest your barrel on stuff. You always want to rest your, your hand guard or whatever. So that's on that one. And then I had done a separate video on uh, this guy and how I painted it. And this is my recce rifle. Um, and this one is showing a lot more wear because it's been shot more. And it's also just been uh, beat up more. Um, moving and shooting and transitions and all that kind of stuff. So this one is has lost a good amount of paint uh, off of the rails. Same thing on the on the pistol grip. Again, Daniel Defense, it's my go-to pistol grip. All the way to uh, like where my hand rests right here, because I use a really high grip, uh, up to where my finger rests when I'm not shooting. So it definitely uh, does take some wear patterns. So spray paint on a firearm, it lasts decently, uh, but it definitely doesn't last forever. Like I've rubbed most of it off of the stock from my face being on it. Less so on this side because I normally shoot right-handed. Um, so that's, I mean, most of it's come off of the uh, Strike Industries grip here. And that's just because that's where my hand is over and over again. So... Yeah, it lasts kind of. Um, like I said, I just respray normally, like that camouflage AK right there. Uh, that's on its third paint job. Um, but you know, overall, like this one did come out really, really cool looking, and uh, I should put a coat of clear over top of it, and then I'll get back to y'all and let you know how well the clear holds up. I imagine it's still gonna rub off in spots from just you know, repeated over and over again uh, uh, manipulation. The one thing I did with this one that I did not do uh, as much with this one is the uh, the pistol got um, heated up. Like I, because I did use water to rinse off the dish soap and all that, uh, this spent a lot of time in front of a space heater just getting warmed up and I think that helped with the paint adhesion. <clears throat> this one I just went over with a like a blow dryer and didn't necessarily heat up the metal as much. So 
Yes, spray paint on a gun holds up decently. Uh, if you care about your camouflage pattern or the effect you got, then yes, you should put a matte clear coat over it. Don't use a shiny clear coat because then your gun will be all reflective and whatnot. But uh, yeah, so just a quick follow up to that. And if you haven't seen my video on how I painted this, uh, it'll be somewhere. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on 3COG.